The latest short film My Pink Shoes has one goal to spread awareness and sensitivity. The direction also is creating a product, a subject, you know, bringing it to life, bringing characters to life. Has one goal to spread awareness and sensitivity. We thought uh, what else can we do? How else do we use this platform in the right way, influence in the right way? Acting as a moral compass, the film is touching hearts. I love the entertainment industry. I love the creating. News X influencer A List proudly recognizes Karanveer Bohra and T J Sidhu for influence in digital disruption in films. Hello and welcome. You're joining us on News X influencer A List. I'm Parthi Panot, and with us today are two very special guests. We have T J with us. We also have Karanveer Bohra, and um, they're influencers in their own right, but they've come out and done something extremely special. Uh, why don't you guys start? and by telling us uh, about your new short film because i don't want to be talking about it you can do justice to it so why don't you take the stage sweetie go take the stage okay so you know we've been um like so long <laughs> so we've been you know on uh, part of this influencer category i think for about 5 years ever since bella viana were born and at that time it wasn't to you know become influencers it was just so our families could stay in touch and see what they're doing and we were making reels and videos and posts and all sorts of stuff we thought uh, what else can we do how else do we use this platform in the right way influence in the right way and um because kv also has that filmmaker mindset besides being an actor we thought why not let's um let's make a short film we thought let's start with a short because with children you don't know are they comfortable acting do they want to Mm. uh will they be able to wait well, no, sorry be, sorry uh, you. we have one of the stars of course besides <laughs> teacher we have one of the stars joining with us and that star is yay <laughs> <laughs> not like that yeah okay yes. see so, see hi there. everybody so did you watch my short film my pink shoes ask ask them Left. india okay. seen you now you're a star <laughs> uh you know they get and also the film makes them very emotional because mm. when they shot the film they shot it in parts and pieces and when they saw it all together with as the music a story and, with the music with everything it it really affected them yeah. really affected them and they said it's a sad movie i said not really because somebody got shoes yeah. <laughs> it's not like did, did you like it man do you like the movie Le- they don't like the movie it's critical of a performance <laughs> <laughs> So, no, I, so she's not critical. I think she's it was too real for her. Uh, was it was it difficult to get them to you know sort of act because um, being in front of the camera can be a little intimidating. You have to trick them. Okay. You have to tell them how, yeah. I was a difficult one. They were easy. Go ahead. Actually, that is a fact. Uh, these two are a piece of cake. I have to be a little more diplomatic because yesterday was Valentine's Day. I can't be, <laughs> but the truth is that she was a difficult one. <laughs> so bossy. It was it was easy to handle the kids, but my wife takes a mammoth of a direction, of a task, of a you know. I got a little because you know light was going, so I told her that listen, just yeah. come on, you know what? Hurry up, just hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. That you know? doesn't work. You have to be so nice. She she snaps. You know, abhi bhi waisa hi hai. Jaise kaise girlfriend snap karti hai na, chori chori baato par. So she just snapped, and I said, she said, "You know what? If you want to do it, just go ahead and do it." Then I realized, oh gosh, you know, I'm behaving like a boyfriend, husband slash. This so is a family, said, production. Be- yeah, family production. Yeah, family production. I'm not the first. Immediately, I became the production guy. I said, "Madam, I have to get juice, ice cream, coffee, chai. Up, chai." I said, "Don't worry. If you want to shoot tomorrow, we can shoot tomorrow also. There's no hurry. There is no hurry." <laughs> Yeah. Dj, what was your experience like? What was it like to you know have your uh, husband direct you and have your kids also act in the film? What was that like? He's so bossy on set, and I need a little time. You have to tell me, okay, this is what we're gonna do. You can't change things last minute. Okay, just do this. Hurry up, hurry up. I I, I don't like this. Hurry, hurry. Take your time a little and do it right. Um, but it was when great. I make a Bansali film, that time I'll tell you, okay, you know, take your time. <laughs> right now we are on a short budget, short time. <laughs> yeah, we had to actually. She's made for after yeah, lunch. She's made for a Yashraj Bansali kind of a production, basically. Uh-huh. So, so where from here? You know, you mentioned it was a short budget film. Um, Karan Veer, I know that uh, you know you said earlier on we were talking that you're interested in direction. You know, you're inclined towards it. Where from here? Do you want to take this forward? This is, I'm passionate about the art. Hmm. Okay, I love uh, 
I love the entertainment industry. I love creating, you know, primarily, you know, acting is something, again, it's creating a character. Uh, direction also is creating a product, a subject, you know, bringing it to life, bringing characters to life. So again, the creation aspect of it really excites me. And uh, as she said it earlier, so we are making a series of short films, you know. All right. Uh, and of course, I'll only be directing. Who else will direct otherwise? But so my, team is, my team is really strong. It's a skeleton crew. There's yeah, no, but three the, actors and one director. Yeah, That's but it. no, but the team is very strong. There is Raju Gavli, who's the DOP, who's done a terrific job from his free time. Also, he's very busy right now, but he loves doing this kind of experimental stuff. Then my editor, Prashad, and he's, you know, uh, he's the guy who edited my earlier film also. Uh, then uh, we have the back, the guy who gets the background, Anmol Daniel, he does the background for a lot of these, uh, uh, Badsha and uh, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of music directors. So again, we've got a very good team together who supports me, who makes it a so A passionate dear. team. A passionate team, yeah. yeah. And for stuff like this, obviously nobody's in it for the money. There isn't any. Yeah. <laughs> but... You know, we're doing it because it's a passion, because it's, it's, passion, yeah. it's also part of our industry. It's part yeah. of our craft. We think if we're, what else can we do with ourselves? You know, when you don't have your own project going on, create a project, yeah. do other things, grow beyond where you are, get out of your comfort space, experiment a little. And with children, you never know. They could get moody. They could get tired. They could say, I don't like this. Uh, children, you know. But the, Actresses, you don't. Children, you know, okay, they don't want to do it, they don't But they actually, they, I think because there's been such a comfort level with them since they were born, um, that time KV was doing Nagin. After that, we've done so many shows and they've been on, they've pretty much been raised on sets. So they're used to that environment. We're shooting every day with them on this phone. Okay, so they their think YouTube this is that. So they, a... they've never seen a reflex, or they've never never seen a red camera or a, you know uh, Alexa. So uh, for them, just they think everything is for digital. Everything is for mm-hmm. this camera. So even out here, we had to show them, we would trick them. Okay, fine. Listen now. So the last shot where she's uh, walking towards, yeah. uh, she was actually walking towards me. She's not walking towards the car. But she was tired. She said, I don't want to do it because she felt like, you know, she's even we were feeling a little awkward. She's sitting in that corner and that, you know, dirt. So I have to clean the area and all. But still, she would feel that, why am I sitting and why is Didi sitting in the in car? car. Yeah. So then she, in the, she goes, you know, I think that I should be the one playing your daughter and Didi should be out here. Yeah. Oh, he said, um, we can't switch now. We've already saw it. Yeah, so yeah, so I, she said, no, I don't want to do it. And she started, you know, she got a little upset. Yeah. And but then, you know, with children, you always, you can never push them. Yeah. Don't force. I mean, especially <clears throat> in the city, I know a lot of parents have dreams for their kids to be actors and film stars. Never push them. They If they want to do it, They'll be comfortable and you'll know. So we thought at any point, if they say, I don't want to do it, we'll say, it's okay. You don't have to. Let's yeah. go home. No, but I couldn't say that because it was because the last shot. Said, do you want to go home? It was, it was the last do shot. To take no. a show? Do you want to take a break? <laughs> yeah, it was the last shot. So I told her, Aja, baby, come do one thing. Vienna. Just come to dad. Now just come walk. Walk slowly, but walk slowly towards dad. And I told the DOP, okay, keep rolling, keep rolling. <laughs> so I think the girls, so they must have, you know, taken away some sort of um, a learning, some sort of empathy from the entire film, right? Because it is a very touching film. Uh, Not only from actually what they do in day-to-day life is what they put in the uh, movie. So mm-hmm. that's why they feel. So whenever we, we go by car and, you know, uh, these poor people, when they knock on the doors, they get, suddenly their face changes, their mood changes. You yeah. know, it they're, is they're it, really empathetic. It's it's just instinctive. You know, what about Mastia doing the cast? Suddenly they say, and it kind of makes them feel sad. They want I feel to do sad, and it yeah. grounds them also. Yeah, we suddenly see. grounds them. Yeah. So that's what we always keep um, food in the car. We, we don't give money. I we keep their toys. I keep their shoes. The we call it toys, extra the things. So we yeah. just say, just keep the stuff in the car. If you ever see anybody, you don't know when you see someone who needs something, just just give it. Yeah. So and what is it like, you know, to, to be in an influential place yourself and uh, put out a film like this? Do you think that there was also a sense of responsibility that you were coming from? Oh, for to, sure. To, to, to make for something sure. like you know, this Now this whole new age of fame that people are getting, which is so... Mm. I'm very happy and, I'm, and they are very fortunate for getting this kind of a platform. Yeah. But along with this, they need to know that you guys are responsible for a lot of people looking at you, following you. Mm. So bring, do all the basti you want, do all the reels you want, but bring about some mature content where people understand, you know, you're an influential, don't just say I'm an influencer, understand the meaning of an influencer. 
well, they won't understand it right now, but I feel that when they're older, they'll feel proud of us also, yeah. that we kind of no, no, they are, channel well, that in the right yeah. way and that they I mean. learned a lot. Yeah. Well, um, mm. I meant the influences around the oh, globe. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, of course, um, you've been, TJ, you've been a mom blogger now. Um, that's something that, you know, we call you as. Uh, what yeah. is that journey like? You know, do you ever feel a little um, scared of putting out your daughters on social media? Is that ever something that bothers you? You know, when we when I started putting them out on social media, it was just to keep them connected with our family because mm. Katie's family and mine, they're all over the globe. So this is how they can track how they're growing, what they're saying, what they're doing. It was just fun stuff. And I used to really put a lot of thought and effort into writing the caption it was always a blog it was never just like a when in doubt pout or hashtag woke up like this like I've never put out that kind of content my stuff always there's something you can take away from it um and so even with their content there was something you could take away from that and so it did make me more um it made me also more responsible and it made me um which I didn't realize it made me connected to so many moms because yeah. They said that we can relate. And a lot my content is, it's very honest. I don't get up and do makeup and do hair and sort out wardrobe and hair. clothes and heels. Usually I wake up and I just do. This is how she's woken up. Huh? Let me tell you. She woke <laughs> up like this. No, no. Hashtag. <laughs> but I mean, that, you know, when there's um, a sense of honesty, a sense of being raw and real, that's what people connect with. Because mm. they cannot connect with people dressed up in hair, makeup, clothes every single day. That's not an everyday mom's life. Mm. So um, it, it's been really a, a wonderful journey. And I'm so glad that I'm able to connect with so many people because um, because of our industry, we connect with uh, fan, fan friends, I call them, mm. and other people from um, entertainment. But I connect with a lot of just normal everyday people, which I really like because I'm... Yeah. That's just basically who I am. When I get up in the morning, I don't have um, so much of help at home. I have one person who lives with me. I get up, I make beds, I fold clothes, I feed kids, I give them baths. I do what everybody else does. And that makes, I think that's what makes me a little more it's relatable. A, I think, yeah, I think people also see that regardless of the fact that you're a star, you're still doing things that everybody else is doing. And that's a good reminder to have sometimes, yeah. you know, for people. Yeah. Um, you know, before we wrap this up and because we're running out of time, Karan, I want to ask you, um, Karan, you know, I want to ask you, you know, when you started off, um, social media was not as big, probably, you know, as big as it is today. Today, you have close to 2.1 million followers on Instagram alone. Yeah. Um, so other than being a television star, other than being a movie star, you're also an influencer. What is that like? What has that journey been like? What change do you see today? Uh, the change I see is that uh, the respect for fame or the respect mm. for the art or for the skill has become has minimized has become very less uh, because everything is at your disposal that is one second what i see is that there is no uh, the lines are blurred when it comes to because social media has become the ott platform has become so huge so huge it's taken over television it's taken over theaters you mm. know people are comfortable watching everything on their uh, uh, you know, on, on, on all these digital platforms. Yeah. So it has given actors like us a really, you know, like a like a Pandora's box has opened for us. You know, the lines are blurred. There is no, people don't feel that you are TV se ho ya, uh, ek influencer or a film actor or nothing. It has just become so, like everybody is, all the horses are at the start line, you know. Yeah. It could be a win for anybody. And, you know, the fact that on social media, um, you also, so you know, there are influencers that are made off of social media, but then there's stars such as yourself, you know, who were celebrities, who are celebrities offline, but now also online. Is that sort of like a double edged sword that you're dealing with here? No, it's not a double edged sword. It's a good edged sword. It's a good edge sword. Yeah, because, you know, you, you kind of became it without trying to become it. I think what happens <laughs> now, people come on social media saying, I'm going to be an influencer. Yeah. Um, they have teams to shoot. They come up with themes and ideas. Uh, my focus is fashion. I want to do this. I want to do that. We just kind of stumbled our way into yeah, it. I know, actually, we stumbled up. <laughs> and made because, it this far. Yeah, that's true. Because 
as, as celebrities, we just wanted, or as actors, we want to just post our things, what we yeah, do, just where stay we connected, go, yeah. yeah, stay connected. So fans started getting attached to it. And then suddenly this whole 2020 boom that happened yeah. uh, post-COVID. Yes. You know, it has just changed everybody's life. The creator industry grew at, a, at an unprecedented rate. And, really? You know, really? Yeah. Sure today. Uh, okay, so before we let you go, two last questions. Are you handling your own social media, all the posts that we see? Is that currently? No, 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 no. I'm not handling. She's handling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you know, in fact, I keep it the whole day. social media. That's what she does the whole day. You have to see her Instagram. Uh, there are like seven profiles, like she keeps checking every day. So every day she has to post on all of them and check everything. So you won't believe all our uh, social media handles. I have all of hers. She has all of mine. So whoever's got the time, the phone, whoever whoever's got the phone, they just post it. She sometimes posts it for me. I post picture, for her. I say, okay, just throw up the picture. I'll, I'll figure out a caption later. Yeah, her yeah. memory is so full. So I'll take a picture from from my phone and I'll post it from my phone on her feet. It just goes, it's a lot of fun, man. All right. So there's this but actually, he does, he does do his own. He does his own content. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. And so before we let you go, last question, because I know you're also running out of time. What more to expect? Is there a series that we can expect soon? Is that is that a teaser that you want to leave our, uh, that, that you want to leave your fans and our viewers with? So a couple of things. One is uh, we're starting, ser- this was the first of the series of uh, value-based uh, value short, short films. And of course, sending it to all festivals mm-hmm. and all. So that is one thing that's going to be going on constantly every month. We'll be The shorts, one. because yeah. we find out that these, these short films work really well for children also. They don't have an attention yeah. span to sit for two hours and watch a movie to yeah. get a little lesson in the end. For them, you can make it concise and give it to them in five, six minutes. Yeah. Finally, I'll also be getting back to television, my first love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that is one thing to look out for and uh, yeah the two movies that are coming out one is Kutub Minar one is Patal Pani uh, this year the very very inane insane crazy out of the box subjects so, I think all of your fans are going to be later to hear that yeah and, uh, thank you so much guys for being with us thank you so much for more such videos subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel hit the bell icon